Welcome to Advanced Searching in GPO's Federal Digital System, or FDSIS. At the end of this training session, you will have learned how to locate information in publications using advanced search techniques in FDSIS. An advanced search helps users construct searches using a form and metadata for each collection. The advanced search in FDSIS is similar to advanced search options in typical search engines. FDSIS is powered by robust metadata, which is information that provides detailed descriptions about individual publications. Examples of descriptive metadata in FDSIS include collection, title, government author, branch, sponsor, publication date, citation, Congress number, and so on. Metadata in FDSIS is used to increase the relevancy of your search results. The advanced search form also makes use of the metadata to find the specific information for which you are looking for. Our first advanced search topic deals with locating information in FDSIS on rules and regulations related to the transition of NASA Space Shuttle program published between 2010 and 2011. To perform an advanced search, go to the FDSIS homepage at www.fdsys.com. Gov. The gray Search Government Publications box is found in the top center of the page. In the gray box, click on Advanced Search. On the Advanced Search page, there are three areas within the page or form which you can use to customize your search. Toward the top is the Publication Date area. Publication Date allows you to adjust the date parameters of your search. The default option will search across all dates. In the middle of the page is the collections area where you can choose one or more collections to search within. It is also possible to search across all FDSIS collections which is the default option. At the bottom of the page the search in area provides up to five fields to search your chosen topics. In the publication date area at the top we'll use the drop down box to choose date is between. Notice the default is all dates, and other options are date is, date is after, and date is before. In this example, we know that the information we are looking for was published between 2010 and 2011. So we'll use the set of drop down boxes to the right to choose 2010 under year. And in the group of boxes after that, we'll choose 2011. Also for this example, we're going to search in the Federal Register. So from the middle area of the page under Available Collections, we'll select the Federal Register and click Add. You will notice that Federal Register has been added to the second panel labeled Selected Collections. Toward the bottom in the Search In area, you see the default setting is Full Text of Publications and Metadata you can choose from numerous options when searching in the Federal Register. A few of those include title, president, RIN number, CFR citation, and more. For this example, we will search in the full text of publications and metadata, which is the default option. To the right in the search box, we'll type NASA Space Shuttle Program, then we'll click Search. Here we have our search results. In the search box at the top, notice the search terms with the metadata we have selected in the advanced search form. Collection is the metadata field where we chose Federal Register or FR. In the full text and metadata field, we entered NASA Space Shuttle Program. This is in parentheses to group the words together and is reflected in our search box as content. Published date range represents the date is between parameter we specified when constructing our search. Notice the red X next to the Federal Register in the Narrow Your Search panel on the left of the page. This filter is present because we limited our search from the Advanced Search page to only include documents in the Federal Register. Under Narrow Your Search, we will see general filter options such as Date Publish, Government Author, Organization, Person, and so on. Notice there are some filter options that are unique to the Federal Register, such as Section, Agency, and CFR Citation. As with the basic results, it is possible to sort your results by relevance, the default, or using the drop-down box, you can sort by date, new to old, 
date old to new, alphabetical A to Z, or alphabetical Z to A. You can also choose how many results to display per page based on your preference. Let's talk more about search results. The blue hyperlink in the first result is the name of the document. The hyperlink goes to a full text file for the publication. Documents will open in a separate window or browse tab. The green text below the hyperlink is information about the collection and document and the publication date. Below this, in dark gray, is a brief snippet of text pulled out of the document which contains your search items in bold. To limit our search to documents issued by NASA under Narrow Your Search, scroll down to Agency and click on the filter for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The number in parentheses next to any filter shows the number of documents available that match your search terms. You will notice a red X next to NASA under Agency. Let's perform another advanced search. Our second topic deals with locating proposed changes to Treasury regulations, specifically the Internal Revenue Service published in the Federal Register in 2010. Under Publication Date, let's choose Date Is and then 2010 from the drop-down boxes. By default, FDSIS will search the entire year. Under Collections, we'll choose Federal Register. Under Search In from the drop-down box, we'll choose Agency. In the search box next to Agency, we'll type Internal Revenue Service. Next, we'll click on Add More Search Criteria. From the drop down, let's choose Section. A new drop down box appears to the right. From this drop down box, let's choose Proposed Rules and then click Search. Our results display all proposed rules published in the Federal Register in 2010 by the Internal Revenue Service. Let's perform one more advanced search. Our third topic deals with locating congressional reports and hearings that occurred in the 112th Congress in the House Committee on Education and the Workforce concerning spending. In the publication date area, we'll leave the date information as its default setting of all dates. Under Available Collections, we'll choose Congressional Reports and click Add. Then we'll choose Congressional Hearings and click Add again. Under Search In, we will search across the full text of publications and metadata, which is our default option. In the search box on the right, let's type the word spending. Again, we'll click Add More Search Criteria. When we click on the drop-down arrow, we see the metadata fields that both the Congressional Hearings and Congressional Reports collections share. Let's choose Congress Number in the drop-down box. When the drop-down box appears to the right, we'll choose 112. One last time, we'll click Add More Search Criteria. This time, we'll choose Committee from the drop down box. Into the third search box to the right, we'll type Education and the Workforce and then click Search. Since content is continuously added to FDSIS, the number of results will increase over time. Each publication in our search was produced during the 112th Congress by the House Committee on Education and the Workforce containing the word spending. Let's say we want to view publications in our results list that contain the words charter school. At the top of the results, check the within results box. In the search box, type charter school in quotations. From within the original search results, this edition will return publications that also contain the exact phrase charter school. Using various approaches with the advanced search feature in FDSIS, it is possible to focus your search to quickly locate the information you want. This concludes the FDSIS training session on locating information in publications using advanced search techniques. We hope you have acquired the skills necessary to use the advanced search feature in FDSIS.